just saw is that the internuclear interneuron, which is present in the abducens nucleus, serves to yoke the contralateral medial rectus to the ipsilateral uh, uh, lateral rectus. All right, so whatever message, the message that, that any message that gets delivered here also gets delivered here. That means that the lateral rectus on this side is yoked, is yoked to the medial rectus on the contralateral side. And that's a pair. But what we also know is that it's not always a pair. Sometimes the lateral rectus is not yoked to the medial rectus. And that occurs, for example, when the medial rectus is activated to, to produce vergence, or when there's relaxation and allowing the uh, relaxation from vergence to go back to the neutral position. So this is a really good way to enable the yoking of the lateral rectus to the, to the contralateral medial rectus when you want it, but not have it be a, uh, a, a, a always true. There are two other pairs. So the uh, superior oblique is, a, is paired with the contralateral inferior rectus. And to support that, what, what happens is that the uh, trochlear motor neuron sends an axon out that crosses the midline so that it innervates the other superior oblique. The superior oblique on one side is paired with the inferior rectus on the opposite side. To make it easier for the nervous system to deliver one set of instructions to the same side of the brain, what happens is that the inferior rectus is, is uh, innervated by a motor neuron on the same side, but the superior oblique is innervated by a motor neuron that is on the opposite side. As you know, the trochlear nerve crosses as it exits the, uh, as it exits the uh, pontomesencephalic junction, the junction between the pons and the midbrain. There's another way that yokes the superior rectus on this side to the inferior oblique on, on the same side. And that is that the, the ocular motor, motor neurons that go to the inferior oblique are sitting with the ocular motor neurons that innervate the contralateral superior rec rectus. And these, contra these motor neurons that innervate the contralateral superior rectus cross the midline in the midbrain and then just exit with the uh, contralateral third nerve. So what's true about these two and is, and, and, and is not true of the yoking pattern between the medial and lateral rectus is that these are hardwired. There's no way you can ever unyoke the pairs of inferior oblique and superior rectus or the pair of the inferior rectus and superior oblique. There's no unyoking them. They're always yoked. And that goes with the fact that the movements that these two pairs support are always conjugate, always conjugate. The same is not true for the lateral rectus and medial rectus. And that's why there's this adaptable way of yoking them. And that is the internuclear uh, interneuron. <laughs>